welcome to another edition of On Legendary, where we cover all things on Legendary and we cast your games. Ben, I'm a little worried for you. Um, I was on my friends list and I was mm -hmm. about to delete this guy who hadn't logged in in two weeks. And it turns out it was, it was you. And I just want to ask you a question. Have you been catfished? Are you playing on someone else's account and getting into Legend and just not logging into your own? Is that what's going on here? Yes. Okay. Is it is it Rochelle? <laughs> That's it's funny. I don't think she, I'm, I think uh, she does play, but she's not playing. Like if she does play, she like plays super casually. Sure. So it was really funny when she was like, "Oh yeah, I want to grab and wear that shirt as well." Oh, so you catfished her to twenty two? That was that was generous of you. I, I, I like that. Um, I did. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk a, a brief bit about my uh, ladder experience then for the week. I'm five now. As you heard last week, I had free fall into eight. Um, I played a oil rogue, mech mage, and this hunter list that's here uh, that you were watching Trump play. I went back and watched yep. that replay just to see how high he got. He was really high. He was, what, like rank four or something? Rank four. Rank four, and he was like, I can't. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm done for the day. And today, <laughs> he didn't stream at all. Like wow. oh, he didn't stream, right. he didn't stream Hearthstone, he didn't stream Hearthstone at all. Okay. He played an entirely different game for the entire day. Wow, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um yeah. I played the deck last night and won five straight games with it. Like sure. it was a hundred percent unbeatable. And then of course today I loaded up, I'm like, I'm gonna win five more. Bam, three losses in a row. So I wanna yeah. say this about Hunter. What I think is so interesting about Hunter are the traps, right? So like if you can build a hunter deck that does not have the traps that the current most popular one does i think you get a big advantage so like face hunter was running explosive trap and so then that beast deck kind of snuck in there that was running snake trap and then this deck sort of relies not entirely relies on but if you think it's going to be a snake trap and it's always a freezing trap it keep kind of keeps you off guard and it just felt like today um it just wasn't working as well lots of clunky hands everyone playing around the trap quite easily so yeah, I mean, so two, I have two thoughts on this. The first thought is it's amazing to me how, one, how absolutely strong and brutal Freezing Trap is most of the time, mm -hmm. and how 100% convinced, like, pros were at the beginning of, like, open play that it was a terrible card. That's interesting. I don't remember discussion on freezing trap being in the a only card. trap out of hunter that was being played at all until i would say somewhere around mid fall so like through beta into the early part of like i said open just kind of open release was um explosive trap hmm. nobody played anything else and like even to the point where like and so like freezing track freezing trap appeared and i particularly hate playing against freezing trap because so many of the decks that I like to play are control decks, and so you already are kind of normally behind on the board against the hunter, and then you put one five cross guy down and it goes right back to your hand. It's kind of the worst thing in the world. Mm -hmm. um, but it was the same. They had the same. There was a period of time where Snake Trap was unplayable, and yeah. it, be, it equally came back to like people being like, "Oh man, I can't trigger this. If this is a Snake Trap, I'm 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 done." And I'm like. I didn't. When did this happen? Like, it's, so anyway, <laughs> so that's that yeah. was that was my first thought, and then the other one was Trump's sudden realization today, that or I guess yesterday technically his realization that the reason why he has a hard time like use, coming up with a coming up with a new deck idea, because uh, this is a completely hundred original percent. No one's ever made a deck anything similar to this at all. Mm. Um, as soon as he has a new deck idea, it can like by the next day it doesn't do as well. Yeah. And he's like he was like surprised about this. And then he was like, Oh, but except that I have twenty three thousand people <laughs> watching me. Uh -huh. And so it's not a surprise that by tomorrow everybody knows what was running like got me to rank four. Yep. It's it's really fascinating. Um like i I started playing Oil Rogue again just because I, I love the deck and I'm doing well with it. And uh, like you said, I got out a uh, eight eight uh, Van Cleef, because I was like, all right, Hunter has nothing to do against Van Cleef. So, of course, he puts down a freezing trap. I know it's a freezing trap. And so for the next 
five turns. I try to get a minion on the freaking board to pop the damn freezing trap, including um, one of the uh, haunted creeper. The dude was able to kill the haunted creeper and kill both of the offspring. I was pulling my hair out. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It would be like weapon and. You know, and then he, I'd be like, okay, Haunted Creeper, there's nothing he can do about it. He's like, really? What about Unleash the Hounds? And I was like, you mother. It was incredibly frustrating. And I lost, of course, because I couldn't I couldn't get Van Cleef even to attack one time or do anything. It was, it was incredibly frustrating. But uh, another person I saw, I was watching her game, and um, she was way behind against the Hunter, and she was probably going to lose anyway. But she was 100% convinced that the person had a freezing trap. And I was too. And she just took, like, a small minion barreled it into their face, and her whole board blew up. And she could have traded off all of his board, except for, like, one guy, and the only way he could have had lethal was, like, kill command or something, which he probably had. But the point is, traps are just so frustrating when you think, like, okay, this is the meta deck. It's a freezing trap deck. And then they're like, yeah, it is, but I have an explosive trap just randomly in there. So I think the point is, if you want to have an interesting hunter deck, play a trap that is not the trap that's the current it trap. And then you will trap your opponent. Did, did you like that, Ben? Wasn't that great? No, that was awful. Wow. And I wish there was more editing on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. Anything else You're we like, want to talk right, about before we go to casting people's games here? No. No. I mean, it's been an interesting... Like, you know, I mostly watched Trump. I got to watch some Strife Pro today. He was playing a very straightforward shaman deck you know even had even so straightforward that it had like lightning storm in it like the same shaman deck that people have been playing for i don't know six months now eight months now a year yeah and so it's always i think that's always interesting that these decks always stick around like i mean i know there's not a huge amount of diversity like at this point like you can't really shake away from like you know the best version of all the classes aren't that dissimilar from like the little flavors that you can do sure but even then it's still like i'm like that card is almost exact except for the addition of crackle it's like card for card the exact same deck that strife probably played in the tournament you know five months ago yep it's interesting it's interesting because shaman was pretty much dead for a while because of undertaker undertaker now he's gone it's kind of like yeah, maybe we're all right then. Maybe we can play Shaman. Yeah. All right, I say we start casting some games, though. Enough, Ten minutes in, let's cast this. some games. Enough of this chitter-chatter. Uh, let's see. So if anyone in chat wants us to cast your games, let us know. Also, if you think the volume levels are off, let me know that as well. All right, and Tiny see. will almost definitely ignore you, so... <laughs> almost definitely. I might not. Let's watch Card Captor. I think he recently started his game. Uh, I've never seen Card Captor play Hearthstone, so I'm, I'm actually quite interested to see how Card Captor plays like Hearthstone. He's, like he's on your friends list and you know who he is? Yeah, he's a friend of mine through the Soul Forge world. I've never seen him play Hearthstone. Alright. Does he. Oh, he's got he aware, right, now is, he, is he aware of this? Nope. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be. Uh, he's going to be like, what? So we've we got to keep Juggler. All right. I think we just keep Juggler, right? Yeah, that's oh, not that great. Of I, I a... guess that was the mulligan. Okay. So, yeah. Well, there we go. There's a way to fix it. Shielded mini bot. Bam. So Shields up. It looks like this is that hunter deck we were, we just showed with the haunted creepers. Yeah. Uh, so the question is, do you pop your shield on that haunted creeper or not? You just you could just make a guy. Yeah, the guy's good. I, I mean, I think you want to slowly... I, he can't do anything with the board right now. Sure, he can put... It, if he wants to throw out the weapon at this point, it still doesn't give him too much board control. Yeah, I think that was right to trade off the creeper there. Yeah. Now he has to hit the end turn button. No. Just has to... This is a real pro to, play. Pro play! Just, just has to push... He's just got to push it. <laughs> you never push the end turn button. It's your time run out turn two. every time. You never, you never do it. I if if he ropes at all, we're out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna message him. I'm gonna message him. There, there, there he goes. Go. Yeah. He's got it. Everybody he push the button. He's got it. He's on it. Oh, animal pain is really good though. He got the four four. Um, 
I imagine here you peacekeeper him. I mean, the only other targets are really like high main. I mean, yeah, I think you really can only. I, it's unfortunate that you have to peace I, to stay on curve with your mana. Yeah. The only option is peacekeeper, right? Yeah. It'd be really great if you had one more turn. But, I mean, if, with a hunter, it's kind of bad to let them keep a four attack minion. I, and I think you attack with minibot and then trade yeah. minibot off, and then you can. Well, you don't. It doesn't trade. Wow. Oh, I'm talking about next turn if, if you were to attack uh, twice. So I think his thought there was what I was originally thinking maybe you do, which is don't attack and then just kill it with a true silver. Yeah. Uh, but I think you, were, you should have attacked. That way, if you played something else, you could have killed both the, uh, the taunt and the next card. So. And now you lose it all, yeah, exactly. and you're super inefficient with your yep. so true I, silver. I, I think we saw there the right play was to trade. But the question is here is, do you consecrate? You have two of them. Oh, man. I mean, this is so far he's had to be super inefficient with the cards that are going to save him the game, right? Yeah. Having the consecrate, ha consecrate, having the um, Elder Peacekeeper. Yep. Not attacking I mean, that mini bot was so huge, it, it really cost him quite a bit. Yeah. It's kind of a small looking mistake, but it was pretty bad. Um, I mean, he's still not able to play on curve here, right? You're not going to yeah. go <laughs> knife juggler into the mind control tech. Not unless you're crazy, you're not. Uh, I don't and, know, do and, you just and, true silver here? I mean, you can play the true silver and not use it, which is going to put him so far behind, he's probably already lost the game at that point. Um, I'm not and then sure you about already... that, because you can have quality next turn, and then you could go, like, but the then quality you're, what, juggler guy. Depending on how bad the hunter is, the hunter might not play into I mean, if I was a hunter, I, you don't play into a quality, right? I mean, even if he plays one more guy, you go um, a quality, then juggler, then then hero power a guy, there's a the damage. Hopefully you kill one of the guys with that. Hopefully loathe them if you're real lucky. And then you kill the other one with true silver. And then the board's wiped. So, I I mean, I think that's your only play. I do not think that is a viable play. This is not a viable play. That, that to me, is a foolish play. This is, this is giving him the game. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I mean, that does the, anything. I mean, he got the damage that he needed for the follow-up. I mean, I'm not sure this gives him the game because the hunter... Has five cards. If the hunter screws up, especially and plays into an equality consecrate situation, then he could easily wrestle the game. But he's made a, a slew of errors here. Oh, not Trump's deck. Nope, definitely not. This looks like the beast deck, probably. Uh, which means that's most likely snake trap. I think that beast trap runs two snake trap, one freezing. Hmm. This has been kind of a brutal game. I mean, do you true silver and knock off the low thub? That's what he's going to do. The nice thing is you can equality that beast if somehow it gets out of control. Like, you can slam your 1-1 one, one But into... this, this is snake trap. This is oh. snake trap. Yeah, I, I think you gonna, slam it. See, I think, you, I think you hit the 2-2 two, two there, which is fine. He knew it was freezing, so it didn't matter. Um... Yeah, I do that, and then that way. He knew. What's that? He couldn't know. He couldn't know it was freezing yet. Well, he knew it was either freezing or um... explosive. Or explosive, yeah, and it, it almost certainly is an explosive. Okay, well, this kind of worked out all right for him. I mean, he can go like equality consecrate into Tyrion next turn. He could go tier. He could go mind control here and try to get crazy lucky and pull a pull Doctor Boom. He's gonna He's what? Going for it. No, this is a <laughs> and it did idea. not work out. That's a terrible idea. Oh no! <laughs> Why would you? Yeah, because the play—if you go equality consecrate and then Tyrion, there's not a lot your opponent can do because you also have a true I mean, silver. Probably, he, I mean, hopefully he has the owl. I mean, I'm assuming the hunter would have the owl at that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not in hand. He's only got. Well, I guess he has four. That was. That was kind of rough. Um, so if he just slams face with boom, oh wow, <laughs> that was that was and fortunate. And a three roll. <laughs> that was fortunate. And he's dead too. And slam face. And <laughs> I mean, um, and maybe not ball game. I don't know. I mean, the nice thing is he can equality. 
And, oh, he's an Equality and Peacekeeper. Take off the boom with the 1-3. Make the high main somewhat irrelevant. And then next turn, set up Tyrion. I do not think you slam Tyrion here, though. I think that would be a, a bad call. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, no, that seems like a, a reasonable play. I don't have any real issue with it. I think you have to Peacekeeper the high main. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's going to. Oh, okay, he's doing boom, I guess. See, I don't like this because now you're left... This is terrible. Right. Oh, no, this is terrible. Now, now yes. you're left with the two hyenas. <laughs> he's going to kill one of them, but still... Uh... You would have forced him to trade his 1-1 one, one high main to get those hyenas, and you have the follow-up consecration. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Oh, boy. <laughs> skill command? Yeah. Is it skill command, skill command? I think it's game. Yeah. Could be anything. <laughs> Could be a weapon. It's skill coming. <laughs> he doesn't have, he had, because of that, he oh, had three damage on the board. Yeah, that was that was an ugly game from the start. Hmm. That's what we've seen in most of the the low ranked players. We've seen that lose. It 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 starts from like turn two, and just spirals very quickly. That at least yeah. that's what I've seen. Yeah, I mean, watching that, I mean. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be not politically correct here. <laughs> watching that, uh -oh. watching that, watching that game, I go, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> like, I, I know I know why that guy's ranked 13. Right oh now. yeah, right. I, <laughs> I I definitely would agree with that. I mean, that's that's what happens, right? All right, let's see where J.R. Lawton is in his game. Maybe he's not too late. Tiny, did you see how much easier our lives are gonna be? With the the new patch for the updates not. to uh, spectator mode, I did not see that. So the updates this to spectator so mode. Moment, by the way, is this over already? Is that eleven? Is he at twenty one? He's at twenty one, but he's got board. He's got weapon. He's got bow. He's got belter shredder. Like he has I mean, I don't know everything. What what druid runs mechanically yet? I mean, it's got to be um, the mech druid, which is not a great deck, I don't think. Hmm. I mean, basically, it's a mech druid that has lost its momentum, right? It, yeah. All he has is that on board, so I think he's probably dead. I think we're actually going to lead this game. I think that game <laughs> we'll find just, a... stay, just stick it okay. there, it's only going to be a second longer. Okay. Anyway, so the new spectator <laughs> mode uh, will allow you to stay following a person into their next game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They're making some adjustments to it. It's a minor patch. They are probably not going to do anything to Dr. Boom. Which uh, I would, would say is completely and totally the most reasonable thing to do, and you should never listen to crazy people on the internet. Yeah, I don't... I'm torn on that one. Um, because... It seems like BGH should have regulated him, but it didn't. <laughs> like, people were you just like... You know what? I you don't, don't care. I'm still running Dr. Boom, because he's busted. Because he has boom bots that are crazy good. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'd kind of like the boom bots to be like maybe even one to three, something like that. I don't know. Somehow be less random or less good. I mean, I don't know if having a card that everybody can – like, it, it's, such a, it's such a thing of like it's a card that you can almost assure will be in the deck. It doesn't require a ton – of like extra cards to be in your deck to be reasonable against it, right? I mean, having yep. a BGH is a, is a that's a nice play. Having a BGH yeah. in your deck isn't the worst case scenario, right? Like you use it for um, a number of other creatures that are very popular in the meta, and so people are getting away from that though because they're noticing everyone's running BGH, and so like, and that's and that's fine, and that's exactly what the meta supposed. Like I don't know how you can say. Right. Dr. I agree. Is broken, everybody plays it, but also sometimes people play around it because everybody plays BGH, right? Like all, like that doesn't make any sense, no, no, right? Th that means was... it's doing exactly <laughs> what it's supposed to do. This is my point that um, I thought everyone playing BGH was going to be the counter to it, but Doctor Boom is actually so good 
that people took all the other cards out that died to die to, that die to BGH and still run Doctor Boom because even the hard counter to Doctor Boom doesn't really counter it. That's my point. That's that's what worries me about Doctor Boom. I actually had predicted to myself that Doctor Boom would go away because everyone would start running two BGHs, which they did, and people just said, "I don't care, run seven BGHs. I'm still running Doctor Boom. He's amazing." Um, and that kind of worries me that the hard counter doesn't counter him. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, those boom bots. Are, I mean, the you everybody, everybody only remembers the time that the boom bots hit and like <laughs> destroyed your board, right? No yeah. one remembers the time the boom bots. Ooh, look at that hyena. That is interesting with the patriarch in hand. Also, yeah. I think it's gonna yeah. die though. But yeah, we'll see here. Um, ooh. Remember when I said that this game was over and we should leave? Yeah, you did it, say it that. might be over, but the hunter may be dead. I don't know, we'll see here. He's we, got two taunts that can come I down know, right it's, now. It's interesting. Would you go like you could do something some interesting plays. You could like hit the taunt, you could buff your your um hyena with the abusive sergeant to kill the Tinker Town. That seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, and then you cool. also hear And you power. can still do a bow. Yeah. I think that's uh, really well. I don't know. I mean, like, here's the thing, right? Continuing on the Dr. Boom <laughs> nonsense. Like, what was it? Like, 90% of the decks that were brought to BlizzCon for the championship had Lothab in them. Mm -hmm. And nobody is like, oh, Lothab shouldn't be in every deck. He's like, blah, blah. But he's so good, he's in every deck. Yeah, I mean, and there I was a that. minor outcry that he was in every deck. He just, I think what it is, it's also that Dr. Boom is really good and there's the RNG element, and so that's what people focus on, right? It's like like you were saying, that there are those games where he's just so bonkers good that you can't believe it. And there are some games where, like, there's one guy on the board and you need it to hit for one damage, and it does one, two one damages to the opponent's face, exactly. right? Like, yep. Yeah, so I don't know. He's he's an interesting card. I'm I'm not in the um, group that's that's in a complete uproar that he didn't get nuked, but I can definitely understand the side saying, "Listen, he needs to be taken care of." I can see both perspectives. All right, so we got another cub and something with it. Oh, everyone. oh, that's that's clever. He's out of cards, Whoa. so let's bring him back. <laughs> And then unleash the hounds into one card. Just what he wanted. Yeah, this is a this is a bad bad place to be in for the hunter. Yeah. And I mean, are you ever gonna get value out of unleash the hounds here? I kind of doubt it. I mean, he's got three in hand, maybe. Maybe he'll play like a scenarius or something. Oh, that's kind of painful. Boop. Please stay. Oh, I don't know. This hunter needs to pull, like, Hymane or Boom or... Ooh, he should not have played that there. I would have saved that because this hunter deck runs Dr. Boom. Eh, maybe not. Because you have to have four or more, so maybe he's, maybe he wouldn't be able to hit him. He's so low on cards. Three hounds. <sighs> yep, so one would get through and seven more. So he's close. He's going to wait and try to lure his opponent to filling the board. He's yeah. Gonna hounds him. His opponent's totally going to do it for him. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Because it's still only three to the face, eight, ten, actually. He's got it. It the game, he? yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Now, with the armor, he has 11 now. Oh, he does. All right. But if he plays another... Oh, and he's got a ton. Oh, and another ton. Well, we could see an owl here. Owl? Owl! Oh! Doesn't actually help, but uh, get him to one, he, he four, it six. Well, three, five, seven, ten. Hit. He, he won't die unless his opponent has like a swipe. Yeah, <laughs> and we know what. That's not what's in his hand. He has a tree. Oh, that's guy. right. Yeah. So I mean, he could he could top deck it. He's his, got a tree guy. His opponent and has to top deck the win, or he that's loses. His, that's his name, is Tree, tree guy. guy. I believe that is correct. That is his technical yeah. name. I wonder if he's going to do kill command, 
hero power and let him put another card down on nope okay no no you got a hounds here just play it all that's yeah. fine this is your this is your moment Found is it? throw it down there and win the sucker or get him to one i guess win an extra um it gets him to two you know what he doesn't win actually he probably should have yeah. waited yep i was saying he got him to one but you're right it only gets him to two and that is that just makes it so your opponent can armor and beat you yeah so i don't I know mean, you, you could always draw another skill command yeah i mean there's a bunch of things you could do you could draw a weapon animal companion but if he plays a taunt or oh, he just swipes swipe. and kills you <laughs> That's and there game. it is. Yeah, that's nice super game. Oh, uh, that was an interesting one. I thought he had. I thought Jr. had it. Then I thought he was dead. Then I thought he had it. Then he was dead. Hmm. I mean, you only really thought he had it the second time because your math skills are so terrible. Yes, that that would be correct. That's really the thing to remember. For and that guy, that, that guy did top deck. Exactly what he well not exactly what he needed. I guess it was exactly. Yeah, it was. It, it was probably damage. the only card in the whole deck that yeah, won. Switch was what he needed right there. Yep, I think that was it. It was that or nothing. And <laughs> Lawton's in chat going, "Of course he draws swipe." You yeah, you're kidding me. Why wouldn't he have drawn stripe? Stripe swipe. I, I can it's, speak. It's, I can it speak. It is stripe actually. I have I have speaking abilities. So, seriously, though, the person who's catfishing you, um, what rank have you gotten them to, and how much money have you given them? <laughs> I don't know how, if it, is it, how, how is it catfishing if they're not doing it to my account? I, I, I can't go into the definitions of catfishing and stuff right now. This is too long of a discussion. <laughs> All right, they kept Wrath. That seems reasonable. He's going for guys. So he's got the four attack guy, which for the longest time was a huge deal. I feel like it's less important now. Um, I mean, it's I guess it's still important because Shadow Manus can't hit it, and some people are running it still, but not as many. All right. I haven't I haven't seen Priest been played in a long time. Yeah, not too much for me either. A friend of mine was telling me like I had the best Priest deck ever, and he won a bunch of games in a row, and he got to like four. And then later in the day, I'm like, how come you're ranked six now? And he's like, yeah, my, my priest deck lost a lot of games in a row. He's like, ah, okay. All right, we're going to see a shade here. And let's see how big it gets. Ben, let's take bets. I think it will be a 7-7 seven, seven before it comes out. Um, I think it's a, I think we're only going to see he's going to probably trade it when it's a five. No way. No way. Tazdingo. Yeah. That's interesting. That would be very interesting if he's playing my greed deck. I, f I would find that hard to believe since that deck is terrible in this metagame. Mm, are we going to use your an adjective like my to describe the deck? <laughs> I'm just saying it's the deck I put on Hearthpawn. Sure. And I'm sure everybody is clamoring oh, three weeks later well, to exactly. find Tiny Grimes' <laughs> greed priest deck. <laughs> that only worked in the meta. With no hunter the day after Undertaker got nuked. Right. Yep. People are definitely playing that, Ben. I don't know I, why listen, you would think man. otherwise. I know. What do you do don't. here? I actually have no idea. These are these moments where they're really frustrating. I mean, you could keep her. You could... I mean, you could kill him with the shade if you want. You could hit him for two, kill him with the shade. Then next turn yeah. you've got Drake. I think maybe that's your best play. It makes me sad, but it's probably your best play. He does not do it. I mean, I think this weakens the... Ta the Taz Dingo can't trade into the Keeper. Yeah. You can use Wrath next turn. Yeah, that's reasonable. You could also just go Keeper, Hero Power. Um, if you trade yeah. him, though, you can play Drake easier, but... Yeah. You can still eat him but next turn. I uh, I really like the idea. In my mind, for some reason, this Priest is only running um, basic cards. <laughs> he's, at, he's at rank 10 playing Priest with, like, basic cards. Oh, I hope that's the case. He that can... would be so amazing. Like, the next card he plays is just going to be, like, Yeti. power chill. Regular Yeti. Like, okay, well, it doesn't really... Yeah, Yeti. Yep. Is it Yeti? Regular Yeti is that a basic or is he a common? Uh, I thought he was basic, but I could be wrong. Maybe he's basic. And his name is Ace, which is even better. Okay. Yep. Okay, Still a basic so, card. So this is kind of the downfall of not making that trade. Because now you're not going to be able to eat him. He drew a card. Except so, that when the shape becomes a 5-5. Five, five, yeah. Then you'll be able to eat him, true. 
I mean, you could you could easily Harrison Jones here. Puts a lot of pressure on the board. Nothing trades with it directly. Yeah, I, I guess it's nice then he. And can. you're not going to worry about the weapon. Or you could swipe. Interesting. So then he's going to bring the shade out. I disagree with this. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I like this either. I'm not sure what play I do like, but I don't like this. Um. <laughs> Harrison worries me a little bit because you could still get a draw if you want. He can. He can. He can hit Testingo into uh, into the keeper and then heal. I feel like you're you're like I don't know what to do here, but I'll know what I will do once <laughs> I see it. I'll be confident in that fact. You're a lot like the Supreme Court. Like I don't know what pornography is, but I know when it when I, see I see it. it. I know it, and it turns me on. Wait, what? <laughs> I can tell because I get this tingly down here that I normally don't get anymore because I'm 90 years old. I mean, you could just wrath the the one three, and then that. You know, we can we can debate this rank 10 game for the whole 90 seconds it takes to do a turn <laughs> on turn five. Let's just do that. That seems okay. And the pass. We gotta play. Uh, we got it. Yeah, I mean that's reasonable. Because the, sh the shade's gonna be five and he's gonna attack with it and I'm gonna win the bet. Yep. Looks that way. I mean, he could just go with Harrison Jones, though, and leave the shade in the shadows, accruing wealth and power. That's my biggest oh. problem with Druid, is that <laughs> I get shades going. I thought going. you were going to elaborate on wealth and power, but go ahead. You get no. shades going. I get the shade going, and then I'm like, I can't bring him out. He's too awesome. Like, he's a thousand now. I want him to be a thousand and one. But I miss good trading opportunities, and it's. It's a real downfall I have. Alright. So he did get the draw. But this at least... Kind of perfect for him. Finally, he has to, right? He has to bring him out. Then he plays the he's Drake. He's not going to do it! What the hell? That's the wrong play. No, he's going to Wrath to draw. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's not going to do See, it. See, I think fine. what you do there is you Drake, take him out, and then hero power the other thing off. Now you have a yeah. Drake, a Shade, and you still have Swipe well, in Hand. You would have had to. That doesn't. Drake is five. Hero Power is oh, yeah, six yeah. mana. Math. And it's Hogger. Math. Math woes. Uh, Friggin' Hogger. He does have a six <laughs> Shade. I might be right. What number did I say? Did I say seven, seven? You said seven. Yeah. He's not bringing him out here, so I'm definitely going to be either right or wrong on the low side. <laughs> you know, he could bring him out here. He could, like, um,. Aggro Druid of the Claw, hit the... Actually, he could just do this, yeah. And then a one damage Wrath for two, drawing the card. Finally bring the Shade out, kill Hogger. I mean, you can also do, you can do the four damage Wrath here. Well, I like it better the other way. No, because now you can you maintain a lot of the health if you do the trade here. Yeah, so you're going to do the trade. Yeah, but you would have gotten a draw. Maybe he has enough cards in hand where it's not a problem. But he has half the combo. It might be nice to finish it off. I feel like he's getting Shadow Word Death either way. I mean, he's already used one. Kind of prematurely on the Harrison Jones. Mm, I guess that's true. Mm, I don't know what he's got. Uh, I'm just going to silence it. Silence it. Wow. You don't see that every day. Let me change. And then steal it. Oh, no. Not the. I mean, unless he, unless that's the only play the priest has, I don't know if that's the uh, best play there. It's the most annoying, and that's mm -hmm. that's a pretty good swipe. You get to clear the board. Um, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't get that many guys, but it does wipe the board and give you a huge tempo swing. So I think I like it there. My I always forget the sure Jake is plus one spell damage. So I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, why is he what? playing Swipe? What is he doing? He's going to leave everybody with one health. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as someone who plays Blade Flurry and Oil Rogue, I'm quite aware of the plus. Continuing, he's got all fours on the board, so he can be just <laughs> completely and totally safe. I think you silence this. Yeah, I think that's right. And start pushing. The other thing you could do is you could Force of Nature if he's running double combo. If he's running single combo, I wouldn't work wasted here. Question is, do you run the aggro druid of the claw, or do you go taunt? I think I would go taunt here. Yeah, I think you can go taunt here. Yeah. It's untouchable still. Yeah. You, know, you can do eight damage to the face with what you have on the board and kind of ignore the Yeah, protects the shredder. Sludge. I mean, the other play would be to innervate into right. uh, Engine of Lore and draw two cards. 
The other nice thing with that play is you could hit combo. The yeah. only thing he can do is kill Shredder, and then its offspring will appear. I kind of yeah. think maybe that was the right play. Because um, then if you get combo, you win. Yeah, that would be in a win already, because he couldn't clear the board. Yeah, so I, th I think the right play was to go into lore. I think the obvious play was to play Drew the Claw, but I, I don't think it was the right play. All right. Whoa, that, almost, that kind of like sounded like a half compliment from you. Like, Ben, like, that was a... <laughs> I like that play. It's definitely the smart play. You're not smart, but it was the smart <laughs> play. Uh, I would never say you're not smart on the air. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Blowout. That's so annoying when that happens out of, like, randomly out of a pre stack. Uh, and you're like, pre uh, aren't supposed to run that card! What are you doing, you lunatic? Alright, you can still win if he gets combo. And that's pretty damn good anyway. You're, you're probably confident he's not running two mind control techs. Am I right here, Ben? Is he running yeah. two mind control techs? Uh, I mean, yeah. Don't try and, like, I don't try and pretend to understand the minds of... <laughs> scary people I, I think you go Scenarius put out the taunts you hit him for 8 he's down to 9 um, actually can you win here you can, you're can. you coming so close with Force of Nature 4, 8, 14, 15 you can get him down to 2 so I, I think you just run drop Scenarius here and then next turn you probably win with Force of Nature um, it, you, you're saying do Force of Nature do plus 2 plus 2 hmm? no 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 I'm saying, um, and because if you did that, hmm? you, he would be. If yeah, you but give, that's 15 can, mana. <laughs> no, no, because you can give you give the you can use Scenarius ability to give him plus two plus two. Oh, go for phase. I see. He's at five health. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think he'd have to see. Yeah, he has oh, to play a ton. I don't know what he's doing with the. I don't. No, don't innervate. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that was about. Hey guys, just 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 to let See, you know, I wouldn't have done that, and maybe I'm wrong. But the reason I wouldn't have done it here's the thing: is if the if, if the only thing, he, unless he plays a taunt and right. clears the board, right? Even if he heals, Force of Nature wins. Yeah, but he wouldn't have been able to come close to clearing the board if you had made taunts and hit him. Well, I don't know. It's, I, I guess I haven't done, really done the it. math. We're about can to he, find this out. Can he clear it? Bang bang. bang. Yeah, maybe he couldn't really. The problem is, that would have been really bad, as would have Shadow Madness with my play. So maybe this is right, because now he just he has to play a taunt or he loses. No, that's yeah. not true, he can heal. Is it... I mean, no, because uh, he's got double heal. Yeah, because he holds I was about no to say, no, because he... <laughs> he, just... he was at four. So we'll see if he's crazy and doesn't heal. That would be great. Or maybe Prototype will just top deck the combo anyway. Oh my lord. What? Where'd your board go, son? Alright. Does he pull the combo? Dun, 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 dun. Imagine if he had Innervate right now. If he pulls the other half of the combo, he's going to be so pissed that he uses his Innervate for no reason whatsoever. Alright. Luckily he did not. Man, you get two. Yep. He might heal, though. I mean, I mean, yeah, because if Holy you go down, fire loses. He, Holy Fire loses. No, he's going to draw. And I think he's good. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not. If he has to trade his whole board into that guy, he's dead anyway. Ooh, there it is. And shower that. Showstopper! He be cooked! Yeah. And so now, far. <laughs> he's going to get that second half of the combo, I bet. I bet you. $10 as he gets the second half of the combo. All right, I was wrong. That first, was a terrible bet. I wish I'd taken that. First time ever. I <laughs> wish I'd taken that bet. I know. I purposely said it right there so you wouldn't have time to take it. I should just say yes from now on. What is he, I'm not sure why he's still playing, but now I'm curious to know what he thinks he has in his deck. Uh, let's see. What could he have? He doesn't uh, have anything. Um, a Pyroblast? He's going to heal. A three-cost Pyroblast. He'll still lose. That's... Maybe the other guy will BM him. <laughs> I see uh, that happens. I've had that happen where someone tries to BM me and they screw up. All right, well, that was interesting. Yeah. All right, so far we are not doing well with spectating people and then having them win. That's okay. 
Uh, yeah. Let's see. Anyone else in chat interested in having us uh, spectate you, or should I just jump into somebody? I think we have to do poop stain at some point. Oh, he's heading <laughs> in right now into play mode. Poop stain it is! That's a... Uh, it's an interesting name. Yep, I played this guy in a tournament, um, and I never unfriended him afterwards because his name is Poopstain. So I, mm. I just, for some reason, couldn't. Um, but apparently he's not looking for an opponent. He's just chilling there. Oh, Spiffy wants a turn. All right. Let's go. Let's go to Spiffy then. Let's see what he's got for us. Where is Spiffy? He's not even on Battle.net that I see. Where are you? Um, <laughs> that's interesting. There he is. Okay, I was a little confused there for a moment. He's going into play mode. He's ranked three. Ben, this guy's pretty good. I think we're gonna see a win. Maybe. I mean, maybe. he was so good, he'd be legendary, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, I mean. Not everyone has the time to be legendary, even if they're good enough. Um, so that's what I sometimes tell that's, myself to help myself. Yeah, that's what Tiny keeps telling himself every day. <laughs> One day I'll make it just because I'm that good of a player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going in. We're elbowing through the crowd. Oh, my God. Ooh. Nope. Versus Paladin. Nope. Oh yeah, he. This dude loves Ragnaros like it's his child. Uh, I think you. All right, I might have just kept Creeper. I mean, Shredder is good, especially with Coin. You can play him on turn three, so it's probably that was right. And he's got the Freezing Trap and Mad Scientist, so he might have two I mean, I Freezing think, Traps. I mean, I don't think he's gonna go save the Coin. I think he might go Coin Mad Scientist. Yeah, I, I think he'd be, especially with the bow there. You definitely go Coin Mad Scientist into Creeper into Bow. And you are on the way. I love Mad Scientist and Creeper against Paladins. What? Pass. Wow. I am stunned by that play. Interesting. So he could have had both of them on the board. Wow. I don't know. That's a surprising play. I'm not going to say it's wrong, but it's definitely surprising. Because he... He could have run into the the shielded mini bot and then maybe he's maybe his thought process is something along the lines of now he can pop the shield with the mini bot or with the spider. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to face interesting. And then you know the he doesn't run the risk of like triggering <laughs> getting a trap too early. All right, question: Do you coin into Shredder here, or you just go and leave the hounds and? Wipe that stuff out. Because you could take out almost everything with the hounds. Yeah. I mean, you could take out everything. Um, you can't take out... No, no, you can't take the minibot. Yeah. But you could hit the minibot, and then do two into the minibot, and then take out one of the little guys, take out another one. Like, that's... It's pretty solid. Alright, I think he's going to go shred it. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting game because he had a couple of lines that I'm wondering if they were better. I mean, clearly, right from the jump, he was like, I'm, sh I'm coining into Shredder turn three because it's going to be a huge tempo swing. Except that the, his opponent has so much on the board already. Yeah, but they are easily handled by that unleash. And he's got tons of pirate synergy, so that's cool. I can't wait to see the next pirate <laughs> come out of his deck. I wonder if he's tempted here to go freezing trap, um, and then wipe the rest of the board. And it is nice shredder. that it's a 2-3, because it means it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And so this means yeah. that he can trade off and throw down the freezing trap if he wants to. Okay. I or think that makes sense. I, I think this is better. Just, just wipe everything out. Yeah. And this is a really good value on each of the hounds. And you have another one to combo with your juggler later. Oh, man. He got really lucky there. That was great. So, yeah, he just completely wiped him right before the quartermaster moment. Too. Yeah, right before quartermaster, which is really important so to that, do. That was that was pretty key. That was a good play. I really love to see the paladin just play quartermaster without any dudes on the board. <laughs> <Been> like, this <laughs> is what I was going to do, so, like, whatever, guy. I don't think I've ever seen a naked quartermaster. 
I'm pretty sure I have not. I've only seen it super, super late game. All right, so are you going Sludge Belter here, or are you going... That is weird. Um, or are you gonna going to go bow, bow trade? trade him? No. Okay. Uh, nice thing is with Cult Master, like if he waits till turn seven to play Cult Master and go Cult Master Hounds, he could get so much draw. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, but this is fine because you yeah. can trade the Lothab and you throw down the Freezing Trap and you say, yep. oh, I'm sorry. Yep, and you go weapon and then bow. See, um, I mean, you're going to trade the cannon and you have the taunt. Why don't you go Cult Master Freezing Trap? I kind of like the bow because then you're getting an extra charge out of it. I guess so. It, it was a choice. Do you want a draw or a charge? And yes, he has the uh, Unleash the Hounds. Yeah, exactly, uh, for the turn seven mega. Combo. Eh, it's not going to be all that solid. Reporting for duty. He's not going to attack into it. Nope. Um, he ain't... Mama Dan Ray is no fool. <laughs> yeah, I think this is right. Cult Master into uh, Hounds. Yeah, there's a million draw. You can take it out. The question is going to be if he uses the bow or not. Oh, interesting. I think he probably uses the bow. Yeah, I think he has to. Oh! Double kill command? Did I see that right, Ben? Did my did. eyes deceive me? No. Wow. Problem is, he gets to use his 1 1 to pop the trap. That's kind of annoying. It does, but that means that it doesn't kill this. I guess he can go face with this. Yeah, oh, this kind of is. Interesting. This is kind of awkward because it'd be nice to just maybe consider kill commanding Sylvanas, but you can't. Uh, maybe if you get a, an owl here, it would be pretty fantastic. Owl would be the clutch player right here. Yeah. Okay, well. Rag. Oh, no. Rag is like the worst pull right here. Oh, my goodness. I want to see him rag, kill Sylvanas. Sylvanas steals Rag. I think he's dead here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely what? stuck between a rock and a hard place. You could double kill command the Sylvanas, but that just seems horrible. Gross. I mean, he'd still at least be able to play a minion at that point. Yeah. But the, the aggressive nature of the Paladin, and right? He just went face with True Silver. Yeah. I have to imagine he thinks that he's got the damage to do it. Man, this is, this is a really bad spot. This is such a, a heavy hand that he has. It's hard to work with hands like this. Like, kill command's amazing. But not when you have two high mains, a rag, two kill commands. You're like, all right, I love all these cards. How about like two at a time, not five at a time? I really feel like we are dragging down the people who we are <laughs> casting. Because this is now the third in a row that's caused yeah. them to lose. Like, they're just losing. And it's I think right. it's we're, we are the albatross around their neck. I'm fine being an albatross. Mm. He's going right. to do it. Wait, what? Oh, that's that's a really Ooh. clever play. It buys him a turn. I like that play. Um, though I might rather just double kill Commander and get her off permanently. It was definitely clever. I'm not. I mean, he doesn't he have a? He's running a snake trap though, right? So he could. That could be snake trap right now. Yeah, and see, dead. this is what I figured he had a vending. Yeah, round. he's dead. Vending round. I am. I used to love that card so much. It really doesn't see much play anymore. All right, Spiffy. <laughs> Spiffy. What happened, Spiffy? What happened? How can you draw all your good cards at once, Spiffy? Am I supposed to do that? All right. I'm sure he likes that commentary. That's really helpful and useful. Let's see. Yeah, he's like, thanks, guys. I'm glad that your commentary <laughs> is going to help me develop my game so that maybe I can reach Legendary. Uh, but, Spiffy, you have to remember, if you make Legendary, you can't be on the show anymore. Yeah. Who would want Who would want that? I tried putting Rag in all the decks for <laughs> He loves Rag, I'm telling you. Let's let's check out a Monosaur. I don't know this guy. I didn't even know he was on my friends list, so... We'll see who he is. Maybe we can cause him to lose, too. Nope! I don't even know we can't just... cause this guy to lose! Actually, we can. A Brawl and he loses. I mean, a Brawl and this dude is dead. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, 
I guess if it well, brawl and yeah, if it stays Lothat, maybe. But if it's a brawl and he only gets Thanos back, then he's probably in trouble. Yeah, I mean, this is over. Actually, no, Captain S. I'm I'm so excited uh, when you ever say something like, "Oh, it's over," <laughs> like it's definitive. There's no way the warrior with 29 health could come back from this one. <laughs> no, it's over for the mage. What? How is it over for the mage? One brawl, and that's it. I, I think the major. No, don't this. play the card. Don't play the card. Don't play the card. Don't play the card. <laughs> don't play the card. Don't do it. Yep. Just keep it in your hand. It's totally fine in your hand. It doesn't help your board position. <laughs> nope. Just chillax. All it does is give you a bigger target on your head. I do think you ping and use the Tinker Tinkertown guy. Seems reasonable. And then I would even probably maybe think about running... I mean, you want to keep the guys... On, I would run the Blood Mage into the <clears throat> remaining slime. Just to get the card draw? Yeah, you get the card draw. You get to do three damage to the face as opposed to two. I think this is probably fine. He's still going to get the card draw eventually. And he has the Tinker Town, so next turn he can play two. There it is. There's, There's game. Draw. It's interesting that he waited to... I did he just draw that? I didn't see, but I'm guessing he did. And he just did. <laughs> Well, he's, he, gets a, he gets a mech. Yeah, let's see. Let's Off see what he draws. Oh, no. That's the worst just, news ever. Just a heal bot. Heal bot? Oh, it's like punch you in the balls bot. That should be his name. You could go Drake yep. and play everything from your hand if you play want. Play everything. Is he going to do it? Is he going to play it all? What could, his, what could his opponent have to punish this play? Mm. Well, he's running out of cards, so I, I think it's right. Just... Go balls to the wall here. Let's see. Ooh, we didn't got a Let's see what this warrior does. I'm sure he'll go axe into the mini. To the, the warper. Yeah, I mean, he could just hit him with the 3-3, three, three, though. Then he could just ping it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he might not have an answer. <laughs> Do you remember when I said the warrior had this one won, and you were like, what, huh? He's got it won. I mean, he can trade. He can womp, womp, womp the yep. Yeti. Or you could run it. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't like that play. Yeah, that's probably going to be a problem. I mean, his I mean he, just has has, to, he just has to have Whirlwind or Cruel Taskmaster or, or anything like that. Yeah, anything. If he has to take eight to the face here, he's pretty much dead. 12. Could be a well played yeah, right here. Oh, look, an execute. What? what? Cancel. Warrior, yes. Warriors run execute. That's amazing. I mean, the problem is if he trades off that Alex Draza, he's still kind of dead. All he has is a Yeti against a warrior who's just dropping bombs like you can't believe it. So he was kind of dead either way, um, but it certainly caused him to die substantially faster. All right. What to do? What to do? This is a fourth loss in a row. <laughs> All right, is there anyone in chat who actually thinks they could win a game? I mean, yeah, somebody has to win a game. We don't want to be the the cast that's like we cast your losses. Well, we cast one person winning. Oh, we did we? Yeah, okay, that's good. The uh, guy at the beginning, right? He played the hunter deck and won. Sure, that was many moons ago. Maybe not. Somebody's in chat probably being like, "No, you've everybody has lost so far." You literally are only friends with losers. <laughs> that may be true. I don't understand what this guy's doing. You, you've lost the game. Like, well, he's hoping his. Oh, okay. He's hoping for craziness. I mean, no, he's not helping for anything. He just wants the guy to leave because he's taking. Two no, points. I mean he's got. No, he's he dead. doesn't have any. He's, he's, dead. Dead. he's dead. He has <laughs> he's no dead. outs. He's actually just dead. And bye bye, Blast Mage. Okay, let's see with the win! <clears throat> well, it's another good Valiant effort. You know, if he had had time, he could have pinged the Blast Mage and reverse and switched him. He would have only been a 3 5 and he would have <laughs> had one health left still. <laughs> I'm sure that would have saved him. But it would have yeah. been a smart play to do it, to try it. I agree. 
Um, let's see. Let's see. If, who, oh, and this guy's looking for another game. So should we watch him one more time? Who's the, the same guy who yeah, just played? Same guy. Let's see if he can redeem himself with his mech mage. I mean, he's playing mech mage, cancer mage. Oh, prototype to start a game. Let's. Or Spiffy, actually, I think he's the one who just started. Let's see a prototype just started. Yeah, that's not the right button to hit. Now just follow the guy we were just watching. Sure. It's Mech Mage. We can, either way, right? If it does well, we can be like, oh, look, Mech Mage, you know, consistent, and blah, 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 blah. And if it does poorly, we can be like, listen, it's a fucking cancer <laughs> on this game. Please nerf Blizzard lulls. <laughs> All right. I started playing a little Mech Mage. I don't have to admit it. It's pretty dang good. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's fun. I'm not saying it's not fun. I'm I don't saying... think it's fun. Like, to me, fun is oil oil rogue. Like, control, control, get some board presence, do some pushing. That Like, having options all the time. Just being, like, one drop, two drop, three drop, that, to me, is kind of boring. But mm -hmm. it's effective. The tempo aggro style. Yeah. It's really effective, but it just can be kind of boring. Like, oh, I got my mech warper. Awesome. Mech warper, no. I'm out of cards. Let's hope this works. I do like how similar... Um... Heck? Wait, wait, wait. We gotta stop for a second. This dude just played a loot hoarder. Yeah, it's a freeze mage. Ah, okay. True. Good point. Calm down. Yeah, I kind of lost my mind for a second. I was like, what the hell? It's like a... Oh, loot hoarder. I guess you kill it in one to the face, you have to but... You have to fire blast it. Yeah. Don't use a frost bomb. No. <laughs> I don't think he was actually tempted to use a frost. Why do you keep going to the frost? <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I could really kill it. Like, kill this thing so bad. He'll learn a lesson. Maybe he was going to go face with it. He was like, yeah. I freeze him. He can't use his weapons now. All right, so here's the real question. Is there a question do here? Do you play, like, Clockwork Gnome and let the trap go off? Or do you just... I mean, like, I mean if it's freeze it mate, you have to assume it's probably armor, but he's, you know, there's not a lot of evidence. You don't know if it's freeze mage or right. not at all. It could right, just be, point. like, a duplicate. It could be the grinder mage that Strife Crow has been playing a lot. I, ha I don't actually know what the exact list looks like. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is fine. So it's so, not duplicate. It's going to be armor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I think this is it's safe to yep. assume it's freeze mage. At this point, that's where we're at. Freeze mage. Um, I don't think Mech... Well, I guess Mech Mage could be Freeze Mage with Antonidas. Oh, he's so sad. Look at that. He's like, look, I can't <laughs> play my thing anymore. There we so go. You can, play, you can play this thing. Yeah, there we go. Some Shredder action. So we're on turn four. So now we're looking at, like, a Frost Nova he could have. He's not going to play Frost Nova. Play this <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think so. Yeah. That's pretty reasonable. Nice thing, though, is you can Tinker Town... We're not to Blizzard yet. I mean, now you're gonna tinker. You can do Tinker Town. You're gonna trade that Cog now because he's. Yeah. Makes you sad. Yeah, give him less targets to freeze. Actually, I think I'm playing Drake. I guess at this point. No, I mean Tinker. Hmm. I. Th this is good. I like this. I like this Cog Master. See if it's duplicate or. Uh... Oh yeah, right. Yep, I like that. Just to make sure it's not near it. Mirror Entity, thank you. Yeah, I like that. Working for a I, second. I think... I really like getting the extra spare part here. Because I think the way you're going to win this is with Antonitis and a bunch of Fireballs. Because you're not going to push the damage. He's going to lock the board mm -hmm. down. He's going to go Blizzard. He's going to go Frost Nova, Kona Cold. Like, you're not going to win with minions. The way you're going to win this is with Antonitis. And that's going to be a pain. I guess you can just Fireball him and knock him down, though. Question is, do you do it? I think you do. Make him I think use you might more. Want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Make him use more freeze to kill him. He'll have the freeze, but make him use it. I don't think I'm one not... fireball. He, wins he, the game. He's like, he's like, I really want to play the Drake. <laughs> he's not gonna play we, the Drake. He's not a lunatic. We, we know, buddy. You want to play the Drake? Just play the Drake. You know what? Just play the Drake. I guess you could do something crazy and like time rewinder or something, but this is the obvious only play. Alright, good. He took the obvious only play. Good for him. Alright. Alright. More freeze? Yep, there's a blizzard. 
This is gonna be a long game. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you remember? Do you remember how you said that you were gonna turn up the volume a little bit, people, so people could hear the game? Yeah, I hear the game. Did, Great. Can you? Oh, can you? Okay. Yeah. So maybe, I think, maybe it's the way that you have it. Yeah, I think people set can. up. I'll, I'll type can. in chat and ask. Oh, got the chugger going. That's interesting. Yep. All Cause, all them weapons. Because he could have gone Drake there and gotten the draw. I'm, I'm kind of confused on that play. <laughs> More? So what trap is that, Ben? What, no, what I'm sure he's just that? developing at this point the ice barrier. Not the ice barrier. The, um, ice block? Ice block. My brain is... It's getting too late. It's been a long day. That's all right. Okay. I also don't like knowing the names of the cards. I think that's just silly. Yeah, why bother? I like to just know what they I do. like to like like the dude that does this or the thing that does that. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I don't understand. I think I think uh, Iman saw saw he he just had a mini stroke. That was a terrible play. I, I realize I... he was trying to reset his health, but maybe you do that with the Tinker Town. Your whole okay, so the whole win condition here is to get spare parts and win with Antonitis. And he just tossed a spare part away for nothing. That was an absurdly horrible play. I mean, I can't put it any other way. Maybe I'm, am I wrong on that, Ben? Or was yeah, that no, just? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't entirely know what the logic was for that. One. I don't. I don't know. Either. I like this. I like him having to play Blizzard. Like, or not like, but I think that the mage really kind of F's himself by playing. Ooh, there's the card you want, too, is Rag. Rag is another win condition. Man, Rag and Antonitis. Like, he should have had a good chance at this. We'll see. The problem is, uh, yeah, Alex Strauss is pretty beastly. Yeah, I guess you have a 50-50 chance of surviving this round. <laughs> you guess you have to like this is awful that he has to rag I hope it's a mere entity <laughs> that would have been the greatest thing that ever happened alright what are we I mean I guess that's do? what he was was that what he was checking for with the time rewinder time rewinder into the cannon play the cannon if it's mirror entity he's now got a worthless cannon I guess but you do that with the tinker town instead so you get the spare part back like that just doesn't make sense alright he's at 9 oh. And then, well, that was kind of interesting. Why would you just fireball there? Because he must have a, maybe has another fireball. Oh, he he's maybe pyroblast. got his power power blast. Yeah. So, you can get him to 15. <laughs> I guess you Drake and you can lose. get a card. Hope to get closer to Antonitis with the spare parts that you gave up for no reason. Get the heal. <clears throat> I don't know. Here comes MT Killbot. Oh, he frees him. Powering up. There we go. Just put them all oh out so the flame strike kills them all. <laughs> I hope he flame strikes so badly here. Uh, I know it's Pyroblast, but I hope instead it's flame strike. Well played. Oh, yeah. Pyroblast to the face. No, it is not Pyroblast. It's not Pyroblast. Wow. What, oh boy. What's happening? Oh boy. Oh, it's uh, whatever it's called, Ice Lance. Lance. Nope, just Frostbolt. <laughs> that was kind of a cool play. Exactly nine. Oh, now we know why he fireballed. Yep. Wow. That was kind of crazy. Poor Iman Sor. We watched him twice. and We are definitely a curse tonight. He did not win. Uh, oh, I look. feel like... I feel like the last last week we were probably maybe 50-50... With yeah. people winning their games, I think so. People were doing. And then the week before, and I think the week before we were like a hundred percent, like almost everybody we watched won their game. We're gonna so. watch Eon, and he's gonna win. Eon. All right, well, this is the last game. Eon, win this one. Last, man. last game. Yep, this will be the last one for the night, and Eon is gonna win. We're not okay, gonna watch. He keeps keep saying it, but <laughs> you can spectate my game, I guess. Well, good, because I was going to inspect your game anyway. <laughs> it's a good thing that you're okay with it. Uh-oh. Uh oh he's worried about the Tiny Grams curse. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Find that pony. So, 
So, Ben, you're not off your show yet, right? You're still in the running to be king of all of the nerds? That is uh, that is the case currently. Episode 5 tomorrow night. All right. Episode 5, and it has uh, Pen Gillette on it. Who's Pen Gillette? From Pen and Pen or whatever, whatever their names are? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Is he the magician? Yes, the magician. What's okay. it? What's the name of the act? <laughs> I, for so, I know, but for some reason I forgot. What is it? Tiny, come on, one more time. Uh, Pen and Teller. It's Pen and Teller. Pen and Teller. There yes. Well, that's cool. Pen Gillette is on the show tomorrow. Oh, that should be fun. Funny story about Pen Gillette. He is a uh, very adamant atheist. Hmm. So anytime anybody muttered the words, oh God... <laughs> or like uh, you're thinking oh god I know the answer to this he will distract you in that moment and yell out there is no god <laughs> that would be annoying like uh, every time alright do you wild growth here so you can drake next turn or do you do that so you can kill him I think I like wild growth into drake better I mean, because you can always swipe if you had to. Like, if he went muster, you would have to swipe. Before he can play it. Yeah, right. I, I, think, I, I think it was a wasted play. Because what he did, basically, is he lost the chance to wild growth. Because he's still... I guess he doesn't have to swipe. No, he does, because his opponent could coin it. So he has to swipe. Yeah, so basically he lost a whole turn. Yeah. And it was the three-mana turn, too. Yeah. Wow, that was kind of tough. Wasn't great. Wasn't wasn't the best. Wasn't ideal. Okay, so do you innervate uh, lore or do you just play Drake? I think I like lore. Yeah, lore is a good play here. I think you heal. Go to thirty-five. Oh yeah, thirty-five. That's the over, new over thirty. Heal. Yep. <laughs> All right, that seems good. I have a feeling Big Game Hunter is not going to be great in this match. Oh, that's... I hate so much when I'm playing against Balden. You're like, yes! Played it perfectly, and they're like, yeah, you did. Here's Peacekeeper. Suck yeah. on that for a while. Uh, I, don't, I don't like it when you tell people to suck on things. Oh, okay. That's too bad. Let's see. Uh, ideally, you would have seven mana and go Drake Wrath into the Shredder. That's not the situation. So with our actual situation, it's a little bit harder. We do that and then wrath the three into the... Nope. Nope. Just, Just clear off the dude. The cool thing is he has combo. Uh, so if he's just a little bit aggressive, he'll be able to win turn nine. I kind of like the idea of not using Keeper ever unless you have to. Yeah. Because you want to be able to hit Tyrion 8 so you can win turn 9. Um, I mean, Belcher's not a terrible target. I, mean, could, uh, I don't know. Drake Wrath, I guess, but Wrath did 3 anyway. It didn't gain you that much. But you got the draw. And then next turn you use Black Knight, so that works pretty well. Yeah. Let's see what Mr. Paladin's got cooking. You don't see Black Knight too often in the meta right now. Yeah. I wonder if Eon, Eon was sitting there being like, oh man. <laughs> this is my Black, secret deck. Black Knight, he just ran into a whole series of decks that had taunts in him. He's like, god damn it, I'm putting Black Knight back into this. He is so close to winning this, dude. He gets the Black Knight him. Oh. <sighs> Get to 14. 14 is the combo. What does he do? He drew another wild growth. Yeah, good thing he drew that wild growth. Oh, man. I'm sure he was really happy about that. Interesting. Oh, Ooh, we got a boom sighting. Boom, boom. into a uh, combo can be pretty scary. Okay, he's like, I want to be closer to combo range. Let me put myself there. All I can say is, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there it <laughs> is. This just got real. 3, 6, 9, 11, 12, 13 next turn. 
boy. He could go swipe to the face. <laughs> swipe to the face, use Drew to the Claw power to kill off the taunt. Um, then that frees him up next turn to win with combo. I mean, this would also win next turn with combo, but he has to handle the taunts a lot. So, I don't know. I think I kind of like my play better. Your play was swipe. Swipe hero power into the taunts, wipe it. Um, then maybe, you know, nakedly play a big game hunter or something like that to maybe distract him. Or Ooh. that could happen. Well, what? Oh, he just gave himself. Oh, yeah, he must have Tyrion or, okay, he's got that. Okay, that's, that makes more sense. Uh, but still, he can silence it, and can he can he win here? I think he can with Silence Force of Nature. Now he's going to be one short. Seven, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's one short. No, no, no. He can, he silences and just forces nature, right? Eight and seven? Uh, Force of Nature is only six. No, because he gets the attack on himself, too. Oh, Force of Nature, not Yeah, savage not Savage Roar. Roar. Oh my goodness. He's going to lose by one. See, if he had taken my play, he would not have won either because he still would have to silence <laughs> the Belcher. So. And if he had done exactly what I told him to do, he would still be in the same he'd situation. He'd still be dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, he's thinking. He's trying to work something out, but I don't think it is there. Well, all I can say is sorry, Eon. <laughs> you, did not catch, you didn't catch us on a good night of, uh, like, giving out uh, free wins. That's true. Wait, you know what? Maybe he's fine here. He could swipe the Belcher. Hmm. Nah, never mind. He's not. Well, <laughs> You're like, ah, he's okay. No, he's absolutely not fine. <laughs> he is absolutely not fine. I'm sure the Paladin's running Avenging Wrath, though. Uh... Well, I mean, that that was pretty darn good, actually. Cleared Maybe the board okay. a little bit. Yeah. It was okay. I was too focused on other plays. Um, that play certainly worked. Oh. That doesn't save him. Well, I mean, still... That, <laughs> Not that, that does. does. That's... Eon has got to be burning inside. Although he's still... He's lost, right? He doesn't win, and then combo yeah. wins. Paladin. So Neon's got it. Combo, Paladin bam! Wins. Combo is so frustrating when, when you're on the other side, blah, you're blah, like, blah, blah, blah. if this guy doesn't have combo, I lost. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yay, Eon wins! Woo! Congratulations! We end the night with a, a victory and, under the unlegendary banner. And you just won a toaster. Courtesy yeah. of Unlegendary. Wait, I want a toaster or Eon? No, no, Eon, but it's my old toaster that stopped working. So, oh. eh, you know, it's kind of like... And he, has to, and he has to pay for shipping. <laughs> and he has to pay shipping. And he has to pay the waste removal to pick it up because it's broken. Yeah. You're going to pay You're gonna pay the... Uh, you'll do it uh, cash on delivery, and you'll do it overnight. <laughs> so, like, it's going to be like $85 when it arrives. Yeah. But it looks cool. It doesn't work, but it looks cool. I don't. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, we, have a, we have a cool looking toaster. It just stopped working. This was like a mini spaceship. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's cool. I, you know what? I, that's what I say when I go looking for toasters. I'm like, God, I wish my toaster <laughs> looked more like a mini spaceship. <laughs> and, and every time, well. and, and every time, I'm disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now you're gonna wake up tomorrow. You're gonna go have toast and be like, Damn, my toaster does not look half as cool as Tiny Grams' broken toaster sounds. You know what, Ben? I will give you the broken toaster. Ian, I'm sorry. I don't, want, it's going I don't want I don't want it. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by for another edition of Unlegendary. This is episode three, so we'll see you next Thursday for episode four, where we cast your game.